What's up, my name is Jeff. Hi, my name is Jada. I'm Thomas. Hey, I'm Andrew, and today we're ranking 90s and early 2000s liquor. I know some of these. Most of these I'm, I'm familiar with. I'm not gonna lie, I don't do the brown. I like light skin liquor only. Every time I get brown, I get sleepy. I wanna fight somebody. These bottles are very unfamiliar to me. It could be because in the 90s and the early 2000s, I was basically an infant. So I started drinking a little early. I was a fast little kid. So, I mean, I definitely remember Hypnotic. I just remember a lot of rappers, especially in the early 2000s, talking about Nuvo, talking about Hypto. She blame it on the juice. God, she's feeling loot. Come on, girl, I got a gala Alize at the crib. Pass the Cavassier, hey. That's the song that was like, okay, I don't know what it is. I don't know what language. I don't know what I'm saying, but I just wanted it to be passed to me. When you used to watch those music videos and they pulled out the bottle of Hypno, it was immediately a good time. Rainbows came out. People had chains on. All right, I've talked too much. Time to take some shots. I'm gonna be honest, looking at these liquors, I feel like I'm in a time machine. Cause every time I see a bottle of Alizé, I think of Monique in the Parkers, how she was always trying to get Professor Ogilvy, and I got some Alizé at the crib. Love the color. It looks like orange juice, but I know it's not orange juice. I, I don't think I would drink this in public. Got the pineapple. It's kind of like a citrusy smell to it. What's the percentage? Like that's what's important. Sixteen percent. Salute. Cheers. I'm good off that. Next. Tastes like Thug Passion right there. I love you. Very citrusy. It's actually pretty smooth. I actually like the the fruity flavor of it. Yo, if you're a black man pulling up with some Alizé, take your ass home. It tastes like corner juice, like somebody took like the corner juices, but like the orange mango-y flavor, and they put plastic bottle vodka in it, and then they shook it up, and then they packaged it. I don't feel anything. I feel like I just drank some Tang. I don't feel like I'm going to feel that even 10 minutes from now. First with Alizé, one being I don't need to see it ever again. It can stay in the 90s. And five, I'm gonna buy it this weekend and we about to pop bottles. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to give Alizé a two. I mean, aunties need to have fun too. I have the perfect bottle for him. I would probably give it a two. It's not the best, but you want something to drink that you can taste a little bit more of the alcohol and the passion fruit. I would go for this one. It was really good. I enjoyed it. It was very citrusy. It's very easy to drink. I'm gonna be out on the beach. We're gonna be drinking that. Three out of five for sure. If I'm gonna be drinking, I want to feel it. And I didn't. I definitely think I've seen this Hypno one. And I remember thinking when I was younger, I was like, oh, I didn't know alcohol was blue. Everybody knows Hypnotic. You know you know it's in songs, you know it's in music videos. Hypno made you want to do this in the club. Every time, because it's blue, and you just wanted to be out here like, hey, we out here, hey, we out here. I definitely recall starting a bar fight over some Hypnotic, like, I <laughs> won't be drinking Hypnotic anymore. Hypno's pretty, I like Hypno. It's like sky blue, you know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm looking at the sky, I'm looking at potential. It gives me a lot of hope. It says cognac is in here. How? It's f***ing blue. Nothing's naturally blue like this. Nothing. Is it pineapple? I wish we had a little Hennessy. We could do the, the Incredible Hulk and make it green. We would've been functioning out here if that was the case. I mean, I feel like this is about to be like another one of the punk drinks, so like I can just take it and be good, so like. Yeah, I like a lot. Again, I just make, uh. <laughs> Maybe I am feeling it. There was this one time I was talking, um, we, was, we was hanging out, we was macking, we was macking and stacking. Like we were having a conversation. It was one of those things where like, I say like a really like slick thing, like, yeah, you know me, girl. So we just gonna go back and I'm gonna just pull my car around. And you and your friends, y'all come back to my crib. We can just make, yeah, you're so nice. So don't worry, I take everybody home. I got y'all. And then you like take a sip of the hip note and then like smile at them. Like it's one of those things. I don't like that. I love that feel. Something went down and it was just like, I'm not sure if that was supposed to be in there. Yeah, if you like sweet drinks, if you like something that's gonna be kind of sour, if you like something that's kind of tart, that's the drink for you. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna give Hypno a three. Like, if I see Hypno at the club, I'm not gonna be mad. Like, it's Hypno, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. But at the same time, I don't know if it's gonna be in my crib, personally. Hypno, I'm gonna give a one. Hypnotic Jeff. That's gonna be my new nickname because I wanna be rocking Hypnotic this summer. Give me a 4.5 out of five. I, when I was 19, maybe I would have drank in some Hypnotic, but I'm a grown ass man. Level up. Oh, I have to rank it. 
Nuvo so pretty, it's pink, it got bubbles in it. Like, they knew what they was doing when they made this. They knew exactly who it was for, what part of the club it was supposed to be in, who's passing it around. This one I am kind of excited to try. It looks like medicine. Uh, everybody who drinks Nuvo, I feel like, likes to uh, take pictures on vacation and post them for the following month, even after they get back. Looks like a little rose, but I mean, it's very clear. Let's see what it smells like. It just smells like alcohol. I feel like everybody who drinks Nuvo secretly has like three T-Pain albums saved on their iPhone today. And if I was in their car, it probably might come on shuffle. I'm just saying. So this is definitely like a, we're celebrating, we're, we're partying. This is a special occasion. It, it, it smells like water, this is fine. Yeah, so I'm good. That was smooth. I can't even talk junk about that. It almost tastes like maybe wine with like a little bit more alcohol. It basically tastes like a slightly bubbly wine. I feel like people could just be drinking that in a wine glass and just like finish a bottle. You definitely taste, taste the passion fruit and then you taste a little bit of the vodka too. So like, you know, it's still alcohol, but the carbonation with the passion fruit, it tastes like pop, but just a little bit of vodka in there. But at the same time, Nuvo is close to my heart. We had a good time. So Nuvo can never do no wrong. I wish I had this when I was trying to pregame. <sighs> Save myself a lot of trauma. I I'm gonna give Nuvo a four. And Nuvo is responsible for half of my boy activity after I crossed in at Rutgers. So I like to apologize for 2009 through 2013. I'm gonna give it four. I like the color, I like the bottle. You have the French sparkling wine, you have the French vodka, you have the carbonation sparkling, it's all good. Nuvo, I love the presentation. I love it's pink, it's festive. This was, I would rock this in the summers. I would take this out. The girl would like it. I would like it. We would have a good night. Give me a four out of five. If I'm in the mood to drink, like this is just too much to handle. I'm gonna have to give this a one. I didn't get hit with anything when I drank it, and I also don't like this. Does, where does the liquor come out? Do you take the lid off? I've like taken three shots and I feel fine. You know, like I didn't eat breakfast. It's definitely like 9 a.m. Like this feels like I could do this from now on. I've always heard brown liquor was the devil, but it was produced in France. So it's like French death. This one looks a little bit darker. This one is more powerful. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it smells darker. Oh, God. It scares me right now. I don't know if I could do this, honestly. Ooh, the little buster, uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. I can't say the lyrics because we gonna get sued, but y'all know what I'm talking about. It's not bad. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. I told you about that brown liquor. Ah! Y'all gotta stay away from it. Why? It make you think about life. It make you contemplate. We didn't have to make a song about this. Nuvo, Alize, not this. It definitely leaves the aftertaste. It's more like a burn right here. I feel like I'm on hot ones. I don't have that milk with me. I understand why everybody in there was like 50 sitting down because after this, I don't want to do nothing else. I'm, I'm done. I will sip and go to sleep. The aftertaste is not tight. I'm not a fan. This is not one of my like five stars on Amazon or whatever. No, 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 no. I'm ready to rank. Cavassier. What do I, what do I get? What? Cavassier. I'm gonna give it like a zero. Don't pass the Cavassier this time. I got, see, now you know why Diddy went to vodka after that. That was, that Jones rough. That's a zero. I didn't like it. I'm, I'm not a fan. I wasn't prepared. Don't give me this. One out of five. I feel like out of all the shots I've taken today, this is the one that won. So I'm gonna give this a 4.5. Okay, so all of these drinks were weak. 90s, 2000s, y'all weren't doing nothing. Y'all ain't got nothing on us. I'm ready for more. Okay, <laughs> We're about to. Take another shot because, yes. Yeah. 